Welcome back to another episode of Wine Down with Erica. So today we're going to be making Cuban potato balls. This dish is so good. I can't wait to make it. I've been wanting to make it for a long time. There is a lot of prepping that goes into this dish, but once you get it all done, the ending result, oh my gosh, it is so good. <laughs> so let's get started. It's going to be really good. I cannot wait. But first, the wine of the day. I have my cute little Christmas glass. Uh, I know it's Halloween, but I love my little Christmas glass too. And the wine is Liberty Road. It's a Merlot from Cali. Really good, dry wine. It's a red one, so good. Aftertaste, eh, a little bitter, but hey, I love my dry wines. So, let's get started on the ingredients. So the ingredients for our Cuban potato balls consist of, obviously, potatoes, some Idaho potatoes. I got an onion, a bell pepper. The breadcrumbs and the egg are for later. I got a little bit of sriracha seasoning, a little bit of cheese, the ground meat. My spices consist of a little bit of Cajun seasoning, this blackened seasoning, this and cilantro and we're going to do a little uh, pepper as well and this is all the ingredients you need doesn't need a lot of ingredients but like I said it just takes a little time to make this dish and when I tell you when it finished when it's all done and said holy moly it's going to be great let's get started so what I'm doing now is cubing the potato you just peel the potato peel all the skin off of it and then you just dice it up um, the smaller the better, obviously, because you're going to be making like mashed potatoes with it. So, but if you don't get them that small, it's okay. Just make sure when you do mash them up, mash them up really, really good. But as you can see, these are like medium sized potatoes. Um, if you have the large ones, then you just need four. If you do the medium ones, you need about six. And if obviously, if you're doing the small potatoes, then you need about eight of them. So, like I guess I'm just dicing up my potatoes. I got a pot behind me of water boiling, and you're just gonna let the potatoes boil together until they get all nice and soft. And then once they get soft, that's when you'll mash them up. And you're gonna add a little bit of milk and just a little salt to it. No butter, because you don't want them to be too soft, because you're gonna form them into like a ball. So you, the firmer, the better. So just a little milk and a little salt. However, I don't drink milk, so I'll we'll probably do a substitute. Maybe some almond milk or maybe just a little water to make them a little thick. But, but the most exciting part about this dish, what I cannot wait, is the meat part. So you typically just... You can use ground beef, you can use ground chicken, ground turkey, ground pork, ground lamb, bison, whatever ground meat you want to use. Um, and you typically just grind it up, you know, chop it up so there's no more pink in there. You add your bell peppers, your onions, all your seasoning and cumin or whatever seasons you want to add to it. Um, and then after you do that, you let that cool, you let the mashed potatoes cool, and you just put everything together. Well, I am actually going to make meatballs with my meat. Bear with me. I'll be right back. Okay, so right here I got my bell peppers and onion chopped up. I'm just using a green bell pepper and an onion. And right here we got our ground meat. We're going to add an egg. And like I said, I am actually making a meatball for this dish. Like an actual meatball. Be good. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait. And I'm gonna put some cheese inside of it. Oh, it's gonna be so good. Then we're gonna add a little bit of breadcrumbs. And then we're gonna go ahead and add in our onions and bell peppers. Our onion and bell pepper. And then, the sriracha seasoning, the sriracha ranch dressing. Oh, it's going to be so good. 
I'm not gonna add the cheese yet. I'm gonna add a little bit of the blackened seasoning. Add a little bit of this. A little bit of Cajun seasoning. And a little bit of cilantro. Now it's time to use our hands to make the meatballs. Okay, so I got the meatballs kind of big, but I made 10 with my one pound of meat. I got a skillet behind me that I got a little grease in there. So what I'm going to do is basically I'm going to cook the meatballs not all the way through. I'm going to cook them to the point basically to where there's no more pink on the outside. Obviously on the inside they'll still be a little bit raw, but once you put it in the fryer it'll be all good. So, like I said, I'm just going to cook them maybe about four, four to five minutes just until no more brown is on, no more pink is on the outside of the meatball. And then we're going to take them and put them on a, a cookie sheet and we're going to pop them in the fridge for a little bit so just so they can get all nice and cooled down ready for those mashed potatoes. As you can see, my mashed potatoes are all done. This is exactly how you want them to be. You want them to be a little thick and a little firm because you know you're going to have to roll them up in a, in a ball. So now we're just going to pop these in the fridge so they can cool. And my meatballs are coming together. As I said, I wanted to cook them to where they're all brown on the outside. Like I said, they're still going to be a little raw on the inside, but that's okay because once you put them in the fryer... They're going to cook all the way through with the mashed potatoes. Oh my gosh, y'all. This smells so good. I can't wait for the final product. But it's coming along great. So now it's time to form the mashed potato balls. I'm super excited. It's going to be fun. So I've already done a couple. This, they look like they are huge. Oh my gosh. These are going to be delicious. So as you can see, they look like that. Nice, but I'm going to show you how I do them. So right here we got our breadcrumbs. And we got these breadcrumbs. I added a little bit of sriracha seasoning to the breadcrumbs. We have our egg wash. You know, nothing much left of it, but it's going to be enough for these two. And I added some cheese to the eggs. And in this pan right here we got our mashed potatoes. And um, as you can see, I had an ice cream scooper because you scoop it out, put it in your hand, you smash it in your hand, and you put the meatball in there, and then you take some more and put it on top and you know wrap it up and make it a whole ball. Yeah, it didn't work. I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna use my hands. So let's show you. It's gonna get a little bit of the mashed potatoes. I'm going to smash it down like so. If you want your mashed potatoes to be a little bit firmer, you can. Um, don't add too much water or milk. I just added water instead of milk because I don't drink milk. We don't drink milk. so. And then I added um, just a little bit of seasoning. I added some, uh, I think, Cajun seasoning to it. So my mashed potatoes. So then you're going to take the meatball. I'm just going to put it in the middle, and I'm just going to close it like that, and then you're going to take some more mashed potatoes, and put it on top, and close it up, make sure all parts of the meatball itself are covered by the mashed potatoes, and it looks like that. Now, you can dip it. You're supposed to dip it in the egg batter first, then the breadcrumbs, then back in the egg batter, then back in the breadcrumbs. But I do breadcrumbs first, just to give it a little bit, so you can hold it so that you're not squeezing it, you know what I mean? You're going to squeeze the mashed potatoes, so you don't want to do that. So I put a little breadcrumbs on top of it, like so. And then, and my little cheese egg batter. I think I'm going to need another egg. 
Maybe. Maybe not. And then make sure I coat it just enough in that egg batter. Then you're going to take it out of there and back in the bread crumbs. Cover it up. Oh yeah, these are gonna be so good. I'm just gonna cover it up over here. Okay. And like I said, you wanna make sure all parts of the ball are covered with the breadcrumbs. Oh, and the breadcrumbs, like I said, it smells so good because I put scratch in it. Look at it. It's a big ball. All right, last one. We'll get the last one. And then once you get them all, we're going to pop them in the freezer for about an hour. You can do um, overnight, but if you're wanting to put them like today, just pop them in the freezer overnight just so they can get nice and hard and firm. And then get your fryer ready and just dip those bad boys in the fryer. And they literally only need to be in the fryer for a good, maybe two to three minutes, not even that long. So it's going to be so good. I cannot wait. Now we're just going to dip it. Have breadcrumbs like we did before. We're watching this movie on Netflix. It's Shannon Watts. I'm saying her, if I'm saying her name right. Her and her two kids went missing, and come to find out, the husband is the one that actually, you know, murdered the wife, her two kids, and her unborn baby. It's so tragic. It's horrible. But as you can see, my eye contact is on the movie, so. It's on Netflix, so you should watch it. It's pretty good so far. But, that kidney balls, oh yeah. And then the cheese. The egg cheese batter. Oh, yes. Look at that. Oh my goodness, I cannot wait. I told my husband, I was like, I don't know if these um, potato balls are going to be enough for us. But I was only I was only thinking of the meatball itself. Once you put the potatoes on there, the mashed potatoes on there. Like I said, look at these look how big these balls are. These are huge. These potato balls are gonna be so delicious. I cannot wait to eat them. Okay. We're just gonna put it in our pot. All right, and now, like I said, I'll show you what they look like. You want to pop them in the freezer for about an hour or overnight. But since we're cooking them today, we're gonna pop them in the freezer for an hour. Hey, spit that out your mouth! So we're gonna pop it in the freezer for an hour. So let me show you what they look like. Okay, wash my hands. So this is what they look like. After you roll them up in the, the mashed potatoes, and then you put them in the breadcrumbs, and then the egg batter, and then back in the breadcrumbs. Telling y'all, these balls are going to be so delicious. Oh. Ooh, I can't wait. And now we're about to pop the potatoes in our grease. They've been in the freezer for about an hour. So now we're just going to pop them in there. As you can see, my sous chef is helping me. Let's put them in there. And this is what you want to hear when you put the balls, the potato balls, in the fryer. You could do the air fryer. You could pop them. Um, you can put them on the skillet, in a skillet with grease in it. But we just use our air fryer. We just use our regular fryer. And this is what they're going to look like once they're done. They're going to look like this. Look at that nice, beautiful color. Oh, my gosh. They smell so good, y'all. Oh, I cannot wait to show y'all what these look like afterwards. They are all done. The Cuban potato balls are done. Look at that. Nice golden brown, crispy, smells good. 
the breadcrumbs, like I said, I put the sriracha seasoning in there. The egg wash, I put just a little cheese in there. So it's, it's going to be delicious. And then all this, you know, the meatballs and the mashed potatoes. I put seasoning in the mashed potatoes. Seasoning in the meatballs itself. So good. So I'm going to send that to the side right quick. I have one ball right here in my little bowl. I am going to make a sauce to dip it. I'm going to cut it in half so you can see the inside of it, but I'm going to make a sauce right quick. So the sauce, I just added a little bit of sriracha seasoning, lime juice, sour cream, this roasted and garlic herb seasoning, and I added a little bit of pasta sauce. We're just going to mix it all together. And this is the dipping sauce we're going to use for our Cuban potato balls. Normally, I would have my sous chef come taste it, but I'm super excited for these, and I want to taste them first. So, he's going to have to wait to eat these. I want to try it first. Look at that. Oh, it smells so good. I can smell that lime juice. So let's try it. First, I gotta cut it in half. So, here we go. This is what they look like in half. A side note, when you're cooking your meatballs, definitely cook your meatballs to your liking. I like a little pink in the middle. Um, some people like a little medium well, well done, raw. Whatever you decide you like, your discretion. That's what you should cook the meatballs like. So when you cut it in the middle, you won't think like, oh, no, there's pink in the middle. No, that's just how you cook the meatballs. So as you can see, this is how I like my meatballs. So cook it just like how you would cook a hamburger. So that's how you would cook the meatballs. That way you won't be confused on what it looks like or what not. But when I tell you this thing smells good, look at that. The mashed potatoes, the crust on it, the meat, the onions, the bell peppers, mmm, the sriracha. So now, our little dipping sauce. This is good. Good? It's definitely good. Y'all gotta try these Cuban potato balls. It is so good. I'm going to continue to eat the rest of these balls. Oh, and little boo going to come in. This is my little man. <laughs> little king eggs. Hey, say hi. Say hey, Ace. 